Hi, and welcome back to Bill's Cichlid Room. Well, I'm on the last couple of days of the holiday and before I start going to all the maintenance that I've got to do in the fish room when I get home. So it's been about two and a half weeks since um, since we left the UK for, um, for the US. And as you can see behind me, we're in Orlando at the moment. So yeah, I've got all the water changes to do and think about what I'm going to do with the fish room over the next couple of months. So before we get stuck into that, here's a little video that I took at Disney's Animal Kingdom a couple of days ago. And um, they've got, it's two setups that they've got uh, in the African section um, of lots and lots of colorful cichlids. So if we have a quick look at that and then we'll get stuck into what the future plans are. Well, this is one of the exhibits at the Animal Kingdom, Disney's Animal Kingdom. So this is it from above. So as you can see, all the African cichlids, all the yellow and blue. So yeah, again, another fantastic display. And this one, if you look close, you can actually see there's hippos. So the, this, the, it was fascinating this. Um, yeah, so you've got all the African cichlids and their hippos. Unfortunately, it was labelled up as a uh, Lake Victoria, so I'm not quite sure. <laughs> like the Disney staff who, uh, who got that wrong. And yet, yeah, there's actually some guppies in there as well, some live bearers. So anyway, that's Animal Kingdom, just a little bit of footage you've got. So the first announcement is Northwest Cichlid Group is the first Sunday in July. So if you get that in the um, in your diary and hope to see some of you there. So I've actually got some fish on order from Aqualife, which is the Gym of Gymno Geophagus Balzini, so I've got six of those on order. So I'm hoping to do like a temperate setup. So this is some footage that I've got of the fish room before we come away uh, of the empty tanks. So when I get back, the plan is do the water changes and actually clean out these tanks and get them ready for restocking. So this is the one that I'm thinking of doing is the temperate tank. Um, but I've actually, I've got three four foot tanks that are empty. Um, I've got two 18 inch tanks that are empty and I've got five the fry grow out tanks that are empty so I've got loads and loads of space so yeah they just need cleaning out uh, this one needs emptying and cleaning out properly and yeah I'll be on the hunt for uh, for more cichlids so I've got a trip to wharf planned uh, possibly Pier Aquatics as well obviously go to Aqualife to get the fish that I've ordered um, so yeah it should be really interesting over the next couple of months to see um, what fish I can actually get and stock. So yeah, the, these are the little fry grow out tanks that I've got, so yeah, these all need a good clean out, a good scrub, um, it won't take too long. <laughs> yeah, so loads and loads of room. So yeah, if you've got any leads for me, let me know in the comments. thanks for watching I hope you'd agree it's going to be an exciting couple of months when I'm restocking the fish room and um, if you haven't already please hit the subscribe button hit the like button leave a comment if you've got any leads on where I can get any uh, cichlids from leave that in the comments and I'll see you all on the next video